communities across the country, opioid addiction is taking a devastating and deadly toll. More than 90 Americans are dying every day from opioid overdoses. But what if we could prevent opioid addiction before it even starts? The largest pharmacy benefits manager in the country, Express Scripts, is now announcing a comprehensive solution aimed at reducing opioid abuse. Joining us right now in a Fox Business exclusive is the president and CEO of Express Scripts, Tim Wentworth. Tim, good to see you again. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Maria. Well, we know all about this. Uh, we've been talking about this opioid crisis for some time. Tell us about your latest effort to help fight this deadly crisis in America. Well, you are right. It is a crisis, and it's something we believe we can make a major step forward in helping to prevent. So today, we have 600 major employers and health plans that we've got together, and we are launching a program that is specifically aimed at patients that are newly prescribed opioids. And we're bringing together you know, data analytics, we're bringing together behavioral science, uh, things that we are very uniquely positioned with, and then importantly, a direct line to a specialist pharmacist in neuroscience for every one of these patients to help at the front end ensure that they use the products appropriately and understand the products. And when we ran a, uh, a, a trial with two different groups, over 100,000 folks, we saw a 40% reduction in emergency room visits, a 38% reduction in hospitalizations, and an up to 20% reduction in the amount of drugs that actually the patients had on hand and were taking by virtue of this program. And so we're very excited based on those results to now be launching it nationally. Tim, uh, last year in 2016, Kaleo uh, Pharma actually quintupled one of their drugs that actually has to do with uh, the op opioid epidemic. Now, you guys actually recently sued them, and one of them was for price protection rebates. What are price protection and rebates when, and, and how does it play out um, when it comes to PBMs? Sure. Price protection rebates are something that we've put into place to try to prevent, frankly, pharma companies from escalating the price of their drugs, you know, unreasonably. When they do that, those rebates come back to us and go back to our clients to help lower their net costs of providing the care to their patients. Well, but explain this to us, Tim. I've got to follow up on that because you and I have had this discussion in the past, and we've had Heather Bresch on, the CEO of Mylan, who basically is getting rolled over the coals because of the increase that she, her company did for the EpiPen, she blames Express Scripts. She blames the pharmacy benefit managers. How much are you taking out of the, the, the um, EpiPen uh, increase? Next to nothing. I mean, the irony is, you know, Heather is in, in, in that argument pointing to everyone but herself for her price increases. And, mm -hmm. you know, I've heard every excuse named. And, and I think the important piece is, from our standpoint, you know, we are in business to get patients their medicine at an affordable price and keep employers and health plans in the game of providing those benefits. You know, we hear about employers pulling out or, or health plans pulling out of different exchanges and things. We're in the business of keeping them in. And when companies like Heather's raise their prices without concomitant value, you, it puts a real job for us to actually bring those prices down, and that's what we're doing. What about Anthem? Let's talk about the latest news in terms of these sure. insurers pu pulling out. Anthem is pulling out of the Obamacare marketplace in Ohio, citing the low enrollment there. This decision leaves 20 counties in the state without a single insurer willing to sell a plan on its exchange for 2018. 32 percent of all counties in the U.S. are now down to one uh, insurance company. Uh, what are you, what's your reaction? Yeah, I mean, my reaction is, you know, we're in business to help patients get medicines. And it is, when I hear about I that, just, yeah. you know, as I shared with you uh, at, at another point, you know, we just launched something for patients who don't have insurance to get essentially the same sort of rebates that you just referred to at the point of sale for them if they're paying cash so that we can buy down 40, 50, 60 percent the price they're paying as cash payers. You know, we don't want people to be without insurance, but when they are, we needed to have a solution, and we built that solution. Tim, talk about, it's Dega McDowell, can you talk at all about the use of these novel um, breakthrough therapies to treat cancer like the immunotherapy drugs, the amount of prescriptions that doctors are writing for these drugs, and the price-benefit analysis that you're seeing? Sure. So it's really early in the game as far, as far as those drugs. So we're not seeing a lot of it. And I think that market is still, you know, very, very immature in terms of sort of where it will end, end up. Mm -hmm. What we know is this. You know, one is there are patients that need those therapies. And the only way that the system is going to be able to afford them is if we express scripts and our industry, as well as more broadly healthcare providers, can drive down the costs in as many other places as possible to create that headroom. That's what we did over the last 20 years with all of the generics that we were able to get to market, such that now about 90% of prescriptions are generic, 
creating the headroom for the first specialty wave. This next specialty wave needs to be accompanied by a biosimilar wave, which we know FDA uh, uh, Commissioner Gottlieb is mm -hmm. committed to helping enable so that we can create the, the ability of the system to pay for these therapies for these patients while ensuring the rest of the patients get the best care they can, but at a much lower price. All right. We'll be watching, Tim. Thanks very much for your efforts, and we'll be watching the situation. Thank you. Appreciate you joining us this morning. Tim Wentworth is the CEO of Express Scripts.